vintage gas sweater. It's a nice gray shaker knit. Has some leather detail at the bottom. I'm gonna keep that and do something with it for sure. Vintage gas. So you can see the whole sweater. It's nice. I <clears throat> literally got my wear out of it. I have so many things in my closet. It's time to recycle. grateful for a little peek into my studio. Okay. Number ritual. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is straighten it out, make sure everything's even. And I'm gonna crop it about here. So literally gonna leave enough for a mini skirt. So turn this sweater into a cloth top mini skirt set. You can wear it in winter. With some thick tights, some chunky boots, or some thigh-high boots, nice leather jacket. Okay, enough for the game. Make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna start cutting. So the key to cutting is not to close the scissors fully. Let's see if I can do this when I'm recording. One sec. Yay, it's already better. Yay. I love it already. All right. Look. Zigzag the bottom. I'm gonna hem this. Sew this little piece down. Cute. I just want to show you the stitch I'm using. It's super cool. You like you can't even see the stitch. It's so hard to see it. It's like right there in black. Uh, this is the type of stitch you'd use with a knit or a shaker knit or something that needs to be stretched without being pulled. Don't forget to subscribe guys. I'm giving you inside studio vibes right now. Okay, so I finished sewing it. I'm really happy with it. It turned out very cute. Here's the skirt. As I said, I used the leather detail at the bottom, flipped it upside down, hemmed it, it's nice and clean, stretchable, and then I crop the top sweater. So now we have a matching crop top skirt knit set. We upcycled, recycled, reworked. Link in the description, guys. I'm local in Toronto, so link me. Sorry for the sirens in the background, that's how it goes in the city.